Welcome back, everyone. We continue to track Isaac this morning. Seven meteorologist Vivian Gonzalez is live outside our North Bay Village studios with more on the conditions here. Vivian? Good morning, ladies and South Florida. I'm meteorologist Vivian Gonzalez live outside our Channel 7 studios. It's pretty cloudy and we are getting some light drizzle right now. We did see some heavier rain earlier this morning, but as we pan out live outside, we can definitely tell that it's pretty gloomy. We have a lot of clouds around. There is some rain and the bay is at a light chop right now. That's all going to change throughout the day as we do expect the winds to start to pick up out of the northeast anywhere between 20 and 25 miles per hour. So surf boating not advised at least throughout the next couple of days because conditions from this point forward are just going to continue to deteriorate just get worse so for today expect the outer bands to continue to move in and out from tropical storm isaac so we've already seen severe weather this morning some strong thunderstorms around east central miami dade that prompted a severe thunderstorm warning and now the majority of the thunderstorm activity is concentrated to our south right around down town Miami here at home the main thing that we need to focus on is the wind and the possibility of seeing some storm surge along the coast, especially for tomorrow, because as Isaac starts to get closer, even hurricane conditions may be possible. So the winds are expected to pick up out of the northeast anywhere between 40 to 45 plus with maximum gust of up to 60 miles per hour. So again, tropical storm Isaac, as it nears, it's going to be bringing in some rough conditions here across South Florida, which is why we're urging everyone residents to make all of your last minute preparations as early as tomorrow morning. Once again, a live look outside our Channel 7 studios. It's very cloudy. We're getting a light drizzle, but as the day goes by, we're going to be seeing periods of downpours across parts of South Florida. Now, as far as storm surge is concerned along the coastline, it's Isaac Nears because that's one of the main things when we have a system that is going to be moving close by since we're going to be on the dirty sector as chief meteorologist Phil Farrow has been stating all morning long and since yesterday it's the northeast quadrant of the system this is where the strongest showers and thunderstorms are located with tropical storm Isaac they are going to be bringing in some squally weather the possibility of seeing some isolated tornadoes but this also brings a bank of water right by the coastline and in times of high tide we can see storm surge of up to one to three feet along the southeast Florida coastline and this extends around parts of Florida Bay parts of the Florida Keys as well that's the very latest live outside our Channel 7 studios I'm meteorologist Vivian Gonzalez all right Vivian and still ahead on today in Florida the latest forecast track of tropical storm Isaac 